Hi, my name is Jenny from Campaign Asia, and I'm here with Lisa from Bacardi. We're going to talk about what makes her excited at Cannes. Lisa, what have you seen in this three days? <laughs> it's been an exciting first couple days here at Cannes. Um, really excited about the branded entertainment day, uh, especially for Bacardi as a spirits brand. Uh, we're really interested in exploring all different formats of entertainment and uh, Visual Language Day was really interesting for me. Is there too much focus on content and branded content? Because <laughs> we're getting a sense of that, I'm getting a sense of that. What is your view? So what doesn't get talked about a lot is the distribution of that content. Um, it doesn't get enough time, it doesn't get enough budget necessarily. And there's no point in making all this beautiful content if you're not gonna tell people about where to find it or how to download it. I mean, there was a great, I think last year, uh, won an award, the Chipotle work, the Scarecrow work. I mean, these guys got approval to make a video game about a burrito. <laughs> and you don't just, you know, get to do that and then say, oh, well, we'll just send out a press release about it. Mm. Well, Bacardi is in a, in a sort of a sticky situation now. You have your global CMO. You say you don't need a global CMO. What is the marketing direction or general direction of the brand and the Next year, how are you going to utilize all this that you've seen today at Cannes, you know, content and distribution? Well, I wouldn't say we're in a sticky situation mm -hmm. at Bacardi. Um, we're in a really exciting time at Bacardi. Yes, there's changes happening, but those changes are really going to help mm -hmm. move the business forward. Um, we're bringing in some great new leadership. Uh, it's really going to help drive the activity that's happening in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. From the branding point of view, what kind of strategic bet are you going to make? Is it in uh, digital distribution? What is it over the next two or two, three years? I think you know a lot of our owned channels are age gated. As an alcohol company, you know we get a lot of um, people that have to sign in and be of legal drinking age. We have to be out there. We have to be on smartphones, we have to be on tablets, we have to be really clever with our social and digital content, so it's a really big focus for us. Mm. There must be cultural barriers when you're launching a global campaign um, into local markets and trying to make it culturally relevant. How do you overcome these barriers? Well, I think mm. our new centers of excellence are really going to be a help for that. The way that the company is being restructured mm. um, is going to help us take advantage of those opportunities and really get deeper into them. Uh, you know, we have a lot of great teams on the ground already. And as a, as a global business, like I said, with, especially with our new agency partners, BBDO, you know, the idea is you know, creating a, a global idea that can be used um, mm -hmm. across markets and, like I said, taking, taking advantage of the different cultures and mediums there. So Lisa, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.